Hi guys. In this lesson, we will talk about how we can obtain the linear system identification model with a simple example. But the method is, method is the simple uh, because the if we have the how we can create the dynamics of the system identification and then we can prove or we can apply the any model in the system dynamics and also the linear system okay and so if you have the topics in here like this one we can say that linear system identification this is our title lead to our lesson okay and so uh, firstly let the system be like the x dot is equal to the what the a minus a times x plus b u this is the standard definition of the state space presentation and also we need to give the x zero value okay because if you don't have the any initial condition in here like this one and so the, we cannot solve the equation form or in the exact form or the iterative form okay and so in this case <coughs> we should say that the a and b are unknown <coughs> because this the physical systems and so we decide to model the R physical system by using this formation because it's simple and it's linear and then we can easily drive the any controller rule by using this one okay the PID rule or LQR or full state feedback can be applied on this system and so how can we obtain or how can we estimate the A and B value in here firstly we need to know that the x x are measurable okay because the whole states can be measurable and so if we want to <coughs> drive the proper values of the a and b in here like this one <coughs> the whole states are controllable or, or observable or in a simple way we should measure the x value in this case uh, we can define the any estimator model in here like this one estimator model maybe this is a pre assumption in here you can define the any model in here like this one but we should x hat dot is equal to the what minus a hat times x hat plus b hat times u okay you can drive the whole this hat dynamics or the estimator models by using the many or infinite way of your estimators okay or the systems but i can choose uh, this model like this one and then this is called the estimation model okay and so if you have the x value or if you can measure measure the whole the x states in here like this one we should drive the stability rule because if our system is unstable in a nature and then we don't have the any mathematical results in here okay and so you can easily define the any vector or the any parameters in here like this one for example we can define the x hat that is equal to the a x plus minus a for example the x this is the other variable in here like this one x hat plus b hat times u you may choose the any different form in here but if we don't stabilize these derivative terms in here like this one we don't have the any results in the what 
in the end. Okay? And so, we may use the any dynamics in here, like this one, for example. We can create a new variable in here, am times x minus am times x is equal to the zero. Okay? We can easily see that. And so, we also know that the am times x hat minus a ham times x is equal to the zero <clears throat> and so if i add these terms to this dynamics we cannot broke the any rules okay the system is the same with the previous one and this system is the same with the previous one okay and so <clears throat> if i have this kind of equation in here like this one and so x dot can be written or rewritten like this one a m times x the minus x because it's a stabilizing term in here like this one this goes the always to the zero and so if i plus this equation like this one a m minus a we don't know the a parameters in here but we can multiply the x value in here like this one and so we can add the b times u at this moment okay and so x hat dot can be equalized to what the minus a m x hat okay this is stabilizing term in here and so x hat is always goes to the zero until 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 these terms is bounded okay and so if I have this kind of information in here, and so, as well as a m minus a hat times x can be added in here, plus b hat times u. You should notice that the, this x value is not hat. It's a measurement of the r state, okay? But if we write uh, this form in here, and so this two terms is a stabilizing or stability rule and so this should be a bounded signal okay because if we have the bounded signal in here and so we can estimate the r model because this x dot or x hat dot not goes to the zero or infinity okay this states always goes to the what the zero value and so this is our stabilization rule and this should be the bounded signal at this moment okay and so if we have this parameter in here a m should always be greater than the zero okay this is why we need to add the a m times x or hat in here and so how can we define or how can we create the estimation dynamics in here firstly we need to create a new title in here the error dynamics and so what's our objective in here our objective is that the define the measurement error like this one firstly a1 is equal to the what y plus y hat these are the system output this is are the what the estimator model output okay and so we know that in this system y is equal to the x and so this can be written like this one x minus x hat okay and so in order to minimize or in order to destroy this error in here we need to take a derivative like this one the taking derivative gives us two ways in here firstly 
we can reach the dynamics of the x dot okay or the system or physical systems and also we obtain the x hat dot our estimator models because the whole the dynamics is included in here okay but if you have the any error in here like this one this is a measurement and so we cannot reach the time derivative dynamics by using these terms but if we have the derivative terms or the this drive parameter in here and so we can utilize these parameters in order to what in order to minimize the error function in here and so if we have this kind of information in here and then a one dot can be defined with what with these terms because a one dot is equal to what x dot minus x hat dot okay <coughs> and so we can easily write these things a m x plus a m a times x plus b u okay and so if we operate the minus operation in here because the x hat should be subtracted from the what x dot and so a m goes to the positive value in here because in the first term this should be negative but this negative terms suppress the whole the negative times in here and so we can shoot the right the a m minus a hat times x minus b hat times u okay and so how can we use this equation in order to what in order to estimate our specific or real a or b value we can reorganize this equation like this one we have the minus a m times x x hat in here because these terms and these terms gives us this collection okay and so we can write the a hat minus a times x in here this coming from the what this notation okay a hat coming from here a x coming from in here a m times x and this a m times x express the other terms okay and so we should add the b minus b hat times u in here okay and so if i can rewrite the whole the equation a one dot is equal to what a m x minus x hat plus a hat minus a times x minus b hat minus b times u okay in the last form we obtain this parametric okay and so how can we utilize this equation firstly we need to define the new parameters in here like this one we have the a and b value in here b estimation parameters or the error of the b can be defined by the b hat minus b and so a error value is in here a hat minus a okay it's coming from the what it's coming from directly to this equation okay a hat and so what do we know now we uh, know if the t goes to infinity and so b and a estimation error goes to zero in order to what in order to stabilize the whole the system or in order to reach the proper value or the real value of the a and b this is the first condition and so if we define this equation and so a1 is rewritten like this one a m times this is equal to what x minus x hat is equal to the a1 and so we also have the a error term times x 
minus b error terms times u okay this is our last equation relates to what relates to error dynamics in the what in the estimator models okay and so in order to reach the proper values of these things we should utilize these assumptions okay b error terms is equal to the what b hat minus b and a error terms is equal to the what a hat minus a and so if the time goes to the infinity and so these terms should be goes to the what the zero and then we can obtain the correct values of the what b and a value to what to minimize the a1 a hat and b hat or in other way we should drive the whole these parameters goes to the zero okay in the next lesson we will create an adaptation algorithm in order to what in order to minimize the r this estimation error dynamics okay